This is a quick Skyward video to show you how to request courses or just refresh your memory if you've done this before. So you will log in to Skyward through the web version, not the app, um, just so that it looks like what my screen does. And if you're on your iPad, I would suggest turning it to the side. It's a little less glitchy when entering your courses. So once you sign in, you will select Schedule and then you will request courses for 2021-2022 at the top. And then it brings you to this page. We have a little search box and you can either enter a shortened uh, version of the course name or the course code if you have that written down from the videos. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll assume that this student that I'm signing classes up for is going to be a senior, so registering for his senior year. So the first thing we want to do is get him in civics. So I'm just going to type the first three letters of civics, search, pops up, and I select it, and then I click add course, and you will see it over here. Uh, all students need an English, so let's go ahead and add an English. I'm just going to type in ENG brings up the English op options. Let's just put him in Senior English 41. The problem with a year-long class is you see it went back to the beginning, so you have to type it in again and go find that B section. That's semester two. So you want English 41A and 41B. So if it's a year-long class, make sure you get the A and B. So I'm going to add that. And then you'll see it's adding up the total credits for you. A full schedule is seven credits. If you take a study hall both semesters, it would be six. If you take study hall one semester or you're in fast class, it's going to be somewhere between six and seven credits. So you want to make sure that you enter that correctly. So imagine that you've got that finished. When you're done, you're going to request alternates. This is very important because when we put the schedules together, if there is a conflict or an issue with the classes that you wanted first, we will go to this list and select your next best option. So when you request alternates, you'll see it already has these courses, the R's, the requests that are in there. What we're going to add are alternates. So let's just say the student wants foods as an alternate class. So I'm going to select foods two, add course. We're going to assume he's had foods one. Okay, and then you see that's a number, not the R. It's not a request, it's an alternate, and it's the first choice. Then let's just say this student is also interested in taking um, intro to electronics. So intro to electricity. We're going to select it, add course, and it's number two. And then I think it's good to at least enter three. You can enter up to four. Um, let's say the other alternate would be Computer Apps 2. So we're going to take Computer Apps 2, add course, and there they are. Now, let's say you put them in there and then you decide, mm, actually, the Computer Apps would be my first choice. So you can actually click the arrow and move it to up the list. See, and now it is the first choice and uh, I selected the arrow again. But you can see that you can rearrange them by clicking the arrows and getting them in the order you want. Number one should be your first choice, two would be your second choice, and three and four and so on. So it's very important that you not only request your full seven credits if you don't take a study hall, but also um, three to four alternate courses as well. If you have any questions, please uh, just contact your counselor and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.